Welcome to Biren. Thank you so much. You did a great job. Oh, kuya la harera has some kada. And the zeal of the boat has made Russia. All the beaches are crowded by kampong and kadi chamral. Don't stop from chamral. Con más de un cuarto de la población se identifica como hispano. Và chín mươi lăm ngôn ngữ được nói trong trường của tôi. Esta es Biren. Esta es Biren. And welcome to Berrien. Good morning, everybody. Thanks to the kids at Highline High School for playing along in Miss Lemon's English class. 95 languages there at the high school. That's amazing. So we're here on Main Street, 152nd, here in Berrien. The coffee's hot here at Berrien Press. They just, I don't know, brewed us up a couple of cups. And it's uh, very tasty, actually. This business opened 10 years ago. They're loving it here on Main Street. Speaking of Highline High School, we wanted to explore the diversity in this community, why it's celebrated here so much. Here's one of the programs we looked at. Take a look. In my escuela, ¿qué hablas? English and Spanish. Sí. This is Hazel Valley Elementary School in Burien, and all 85 kindergarten students are enrolled in learning a new language, Spanish or Vietnamese. It's a dual language program. They may have it in your district. It's offered here at a handful of schools with the goal of offering it to every school in the district by 2026. Teachers say they see a difference in the middle and high school students who are in this dual language program now. Las sus primeras semanas es como, oh, ¿qué está pasando? No entiendo lo que me dices, pero poco a poco no se dan cuenta que, oh, que, creo que te entiendo. And now they have some 2,000 kids in 10 schools enrolled in dual language. Very celebrated here in this very, very diverse district. Also, speaking of Highline High School tonight, we've got to give props to the Highline High School Pirates getting together this morning with our Jordan Wilkerson for not a Friday, but a Monday pep rally. Jordan, right? You've got some really interesting athletes for celebrating, right? Yes, good morning. We've got the spirit here at Highline High School in Burien. How are you guys? Riley, Riley's on the soccer team. Riley, tell me a little bit about why you're so proud to be a part of this team. Well, we started off in a rough patch but in the beginning, but um, we ended up losing our first four games. But after that, we got we got um, together. Yeah, we got good, and uh, we ended up winning one of our games in a shootout, and it was really it was a proud and moment. Got to go to yeah. Oh, that's so exciting! All right, well, I'm gonna talk to somebody else. How are you guys doing? to Ray. Ray is pretty cool because Ray is on the football team and in the band. So Ray, how do you manage your time between being on the football team and being in the band? Um, usually I just have class with band and then after school it's all football, you know. Uh, even weekends sometimes, you know, throughout the summer it's just which, which Which one do you prefer? I definitely prefer football over bass band right now. And how, which one have you been doing longer, football or band? I have been playing in band since fifth grade, but I've only been playing football since uh, junior, which was last year. Okay, and you're a senior. I am a senior and a what, captain. What are you going to miss most? I'm going to miss just playing with my guys. Uh, no other team I'd rather play with with these guys. Uh, I love them to death. I'm going to trade them for 